Good afternoon everybody and welcome to another video from Tall Travels. Today I'm in Novosad which is the second biggest city in Serbia. You can see it's a delightful hot and sunny day and I'm here at the train station. Now uh, most tourists when they arrive in the city they'll be arriving here usually from Belgrade so uh, let's go and have a closer look. Now, one important thing to mention is that rail travel in Serbia is uh, undergoing massive renovation. So in the last couple of years, they've uh, put together a high-speed train going from Belgrade to Novosad. So it's called, called the uh, Soko train. So the fastest of these trains takes only 35 minutes between the two cities. And then there's a slower train that takes about an hour, I think. Yeah, so this uh, train station has been renovated recently, but it's still got its old uh, Yugoslav charm. We can see some kind of mural on the wall over there. Looks quite old. Here's where you uh, buy the tickets for the train. Let's go and have a look on the platform. So guys, it looks like I've been very lucky. Uh, one of the trains is on the platform now, and this isn't the fastest train, the 35-minute train. It's, uh, it takes about an hour, but uh, it's still very nice, very comfortable and uh, pleasant inside. Now, if you want to go on this train, there's a website which is very easy uh, to buy tickets. And a one-way journey costs only 380 Serbian dinars, so not bad at all. So guys, now I'm at uh, the main bus station, which is right next to the train station. So uh, chances are, if you're coming into Novosad on the bus, then you'll be stopping here. Or if you're leaving Novosad to go to another city, you'll be leaving from here. So as we can see, it's not quite as salubrious as the train station next door. It could do with a bit of refurbishment. In fact, I don't think anything's changed since the days of Yugoslavia. But uh, I do want to point out that it does have very good free Wi-Fi. Okay, everybody, so um, I'm on the main street now, going into the center of Novosad. So this street is called Boulevard Oslobodjenja. Now, uh, it's not the most beautiful street in the world. It's kind of old Yugoslav style, but it's got everything here that you need. It's got banks, supermarkets, cafes, bakeries, uh, absolutely everything. Now we can see that uh, Novosad is a very bike-friendly city. Look how many people are on their bikes. We've got a very extensive network of cycle lanes in Novosad. Apart from all the historical stuff that Novosad is famous for, it's also famous for a uh, Exit Festival, which is a huge music festival, it takes place every year and it's been going on for 20 years or maybe more. So, um, yeah, this uh, festival is especially popular with British people. So, yeah, next month you'll have thousands and thousands of people coming here. So, um, if this is your first time, you know, if you're coming here for the uh, Exit Festival, then you're going to have an awesome time because, uh, yeah, it's a very nice country, Serbia. You've got amazing weather at this time of year, good food, friendly people, and uh, yeah, for foreigners, most foreigners, it's not very expensive here either. So guys, I'm in Sadievsky Chevap restaurant now, and it's kind of a casual dining place. And Chevapi is one of the uh, main um, traditional dishes in Serbia. So let's have a look what's on the menu. So here we go. Chivapi, 10 pieces of chivapi, 590 dinars, or 5 pieces, 300 dinars. I'm having the Pelechi Bello, which is uh, white meat, chicken white meat, 380 dinars. So there we go, that's the chivapi, the uh, national dish. And we got other things here, that's what I'm having. Voila. And they got lots of other things. I'm having a salad as well, Shopska salad, 190 dinars. That's tomato, cucumber, cheese, and onion, I believe. 
Hi everybody, here I've got something called Kisela Maleko. Now Kisela Maleko translates in English to uh, sour milk. So it's very delicious. It's, uh, I don't know, it's a milky yogurt type thing. As the name suggests, it's quite uh, sour, but it's cold and very tasty. Mm. Very, very good. You want some? Okay guys, so I had a nice feed there. I had uh, chicken breast, a big salad, bread, and also that kisela mleko, and it came to a total of 700 dinars. So in uh, British money, that's five pounds. Fifty dinars for a pair of socks. All right, guys, we're at a very busy junction here in Novosad now. Got some dude selling fruit here. Apricots, 170 dinars for a kilo. Not bad. Hey. Right. We're in the chaotic part of the center now, and down here we got lots of um, fast food places. So let's go and have a look. So yeah, here we got some Chinese food. And next we have some uh, Mexican food. Now Mexican food has become very popular in Serbia in the last few years, I don't know why. But uh, a lot of these Mexican food places in Serbia, you'll see a big queue of people out the door. It's a bit uh, early at the moment, so not many customers. Mmm, that lemonade looks nice. Here we have Giros. There you go, you can have a Giros and a Pepsi, 360 dinars. More Giros and burgers. And here we have some kind of meat restaurant. Now, Serbians absolutely love their meat. So, uh, yeah, if you're a vegetarian in Serbia, it's a little bit difficult to find uh, <laughs> veggie stuff. So guys, I'm uh, coming into the center now, the historic center, and behind me we have Odessa Synagogue. Very beautiful building. That guy tried to run me over. Oh, <laughs> I tried to get run over again. Yeah, these cycle lanes are great until you walk into one. Okay, everybody, so a few nights ago there was a fire in the center of Novosad. There was uh, lots and lots of smoke. And this building down here was a culprit. Somehow it caught on fire. This old building. I hope nobody was hurt. Oh look, a keyboard. So Novosad does have its fair share of traffic, I must say, but it's not quite as bad as Belgrade. And once you get into the historic center, which is just a little bit further that way, then it's very calm indeed. There we go, look, we got the new Nork shopping center. Okay, everybody, so now we're getting into the historic center of the city. And here we've got some uh, railway carriage, some tram carriage, sorry, that's been turned into a bar. So this is one of Nov Novosad's uh, hot night spots. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We're coming into the main square in Novosad, as you can see. It starts starting to get very pretty indeed. 
Now, something I have to tell you, I've neglected to tell you so far, is that this year, Novosad is a European capital of culture for 2022. Okay, everybody, behind me, it looks like we've got a, a board of all the uh, people who have graduated from university recently. So we've got lots of lovely young ladies here. Oh, Mihaila Lukic, not quite a lady, but close. Wow, look at this. It looks like everybody in Novosad goes to the same barber. He must be doing great business. Oh my God, look at uh, Luca Fodos, is that? Lock up your daughters. His mum probably gave him that yellow tie and told him to smile. Whoa, -ho. Belko Pajic looking a bit sinister there. Now, across the road there, we have the Hotel Vojvodina. Now, I was in Novosad a couple of years ago and I stayed in here for one night. I can't remember anything about the place, so don't ask if I recommend it. Now, we've got something going on in the main square here in front of this majestic church. There's a bunch of tents going up for some reason. I'm not sure what, but I think it's something related to the European capital of culture. Now, across the square there, we can see this magnificent church. It's called the Name of Mary Catholic Church. Now, it's about 120 or 130 years old. And as you can see, it's in very, very good condition. And that clock is showing exactly the right time. Very impressive. And now Novosad used to be part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. So we have some, yeah, classic Austro-Hungarian type buildings here. Very pretty and uh, well-maintained. And uh, that big orange building over there is more of a Yugoslav era building. So guys, I left um, Novosad a couple of weeks ago and then I came back a few days later and look what happened. They've destroyed the very center of the city. So uh, down here, there used to be like uh, really cool terraces outside these restaurants and now it's a bit of a disaster zone. So I'm not exactly what sh uh, sure what they're doing, but they're putting down a bunch of pipes. Maybe some of my viewers can uh, let me know what's going on here. So yeah, um, and I'm not quite sure why they're doing this in the middle of summer when Novosad is a European uh, city of culture this year. So it must be some urgent pipe work. Okay, now down here. So this is a street full of restaurants, cafes and bars. In a couple of hours when it's cooled down in the evening, this place will be absolutely rammed. Okay, everybody, just a minute ago, the weather was very, very hot, but the weather changes very fast in Novosad, and now there's a bit of nip in the air. So, everybody, we're coming onto the main pedestrian street now. Some little stalls here selling local knickknacks. So guys, this uh, street is packed in the evenings uh, when the weather's cooler and people finish work. Uh, everybody's sitting around in the cafes, restaurants, parading up and down the street. Even now it's busier than it probably should be.
Here we have a bloke called Jovan Jovanovich Zmai. Now in Russian, I think Zmai means snake, which is not a very nice thing to say about poor Jovan. <laughs> and here we have some outdoor vegetable market. Not only vegetables. Mmm, cherries. Ciao, mož pol kilo. Hvala. Okay. Ne, hvala. Hvala puno. There we go everybody, a big bag of cherries for just over one British pound. So guys, I love this time of year when all the fruit is in season, the cherries, the strawberries, melons, uh, raspberries. So yeah, uh, absolutely delicious produce in Serbia and cheap. Now guys, an important subject I wanted to talk about is the burgeoning expat population in Serbia. So a lot of foreigners are moving to uh, Belgrade and Novi Sad especially. And many of these foreigners are from Russia, number one. I've met a lot of Russians here in Novi Sad. Uh, they're escaping uh, restrictions in their own country and also a lot of Russian companies are moving to Serbia. But it's not only Russians that are moving here, I've met some Ukrainians also. And also I think a lot of other foreigners from other places in Europe. And I think this could be due to the fact that we have record inflation in Europe now. And those who have the opportunity to work online are considering places like Serbia where, you know, if you have um, an income and another salary apart from dinars and it's very nice here. So yeah, Serbia is really turning into an expat hotspot in Europe. Uh, we've got beautiful weather here, nice food, friendly people. So why don't you consider moving to beautiful Serbia?
So yeah, I'm now in a beautiful little park in the center of Novosad. And uh, it's undergoing some renovation work. It seems like a lot of Novosad is under renovation, which is a good sign, I suppose. They're trying to improve the city. So yeah, guys, I consider springtime and early summer, as well as autumn, the best times to come to Serbia because uh, it can be hot, but not too hot. So uh, yeah, now it's getting into early summer. In the next few days, it's going to be uh, low to mid 30s, which is getting pretty toasty. Okay, everybody, so now we're at the Danube River. So this huge river snakes its way through Serbia and also through the capital of Serbia, Belgrade. And on top of the hill there, we got the Petra Varadin Fortress. So this is, uh, this was built in the 17th and 18th century and it's the centerpiece of attractions here in Novosad. And uh, where you see all those buildings at the bottom of the hill, that's uh, Petra Varadin village, let's say. It's a yeah, quaint little village. I'm not going to go there today though because it's getting pretty hot. And I'm definitely not going to go up the hill because there's uh, yeah, a lot of steps. Okay everybody, here we've got another kind of uh, nightlife area, I suppose, of Novosad. Got some pub here, Bauhaus. And here is some um, uh, fancy bar that's very busy at the weekends. A lot of beautiful Novosad ladies like to come here. And uh, on top of that shopping center over there is Giardino. That's uh, a nightclub, again frequented by the beautiful people of Novosad. Okay, everybody, now I'm in the nightlife area of Novosad, so we've got lots of uh, bars and clubs around here. Now, we've got a place here called Pube Raj, Pub Raj, Pub Rai. So it's, um, it's a barber shop, but there's also a nightclub in here, which is very lively at the weekends. And down here, we got an Irish pub, also a very popular in Novosad. Okay, so yeah, this is another street lined with nightclubs. So it gets very raucous here at the weekends. There's also a lot of uh, fast food joints down here, Giros and Serbian Grill. London pub. So in there you can get a small giros for 340 dinars, which I think is about three euros. Look at that everybody, we've got the Hotel Poopin. Interesting name. I don't know if that's a hotel there, Hotel Continental. Let's have a look over the other side of the road. Right, everybody, so we're coming into a really nice little area of Novosad now. And around here you've got some restaurants and uh, cafes and whatnot. Thank you. 
Right everybody, we've got an exchange booth here where you can change your euros, dollars or pounds or whatever you have. And we can see the buy and the sell rate is almost exactly the same. So let's go in and change some pounds. Ooh la, ooh la la, ga ga, goo goo ga, dee na, dee na na. <laughs> All right, everybody, so I've moved out of the historic center of the city now, and uh, I'm in some area that looks more Yugoslav. So we can see over here, we got some massive Yugoslav era uh, leisure center, it looks like. So we can see over there, we've got a fitness center, Flex, 24 hour gym, Cosmoland. Not quite sure what that is. And here we have Vojvodina Football Club, so I have no idea if Vojvodina Football Club are a good team or not. And uh, I better choose my, well, my words very carefully, but uh, I'm sure they're very, very good and they probably won the league this year. Okay, so let's go and have a closer look at this giant Yugoslav monster. What's this? Adrenaline Penyachki Club. I'm not sure what Penyachki is. Ah, it looks like uh, rock climbing. Oh, somebody smashed in this door. They got no respect for classic Yugoslav architecture. Now everybody, there's supposed to be an outdoor swimming pool in this building somewhere. Uh, last time I was in the area, I was checking to see if it was open and unfortunately it was closed. Uh, it's uh, getting pretty damn hot here at the moment, so I'd like to have a splash and a dip. So here we got a billiards club and cafe. Looks dodgy, the sort of place that gangsters hang around in. And over there we have Promenade Shopping Centre and I'm going to take you there very shortly. Yeah, this uh, leisure centre building is absolutely massive and look, they've renovated this part and it looks really cool. They've got uh, some sports pitch here. Golf? they got golf in Nova Sad. Oh my god. I love to play a bit of golf. Look, they've got a putting green over there. I don't think it's real grass. It's uh, AstroTurf. Yeah, so this isn't exactly a driving range, but they got, uh, it's for chipping. A chipping range, let's say. So I'm going to have a closer look and see if I can have a go. So everybody, I used to play golf at a semi-professional level when I was younger. I stopped playing about 20 years ago. So yeah, these days, sometimes if I pass a driving range or something like that, I'll hit a few balls, but uh, yeah. I don't play at all these days. So everybody, the owner of the golf range just came along and he told me he's going to go and get some clubs so I can hit some balls. Woohoo! Oh, so I had a fantastic time at the driving range, everybody, but uh, yeah, I'm tired and also sunburnt, so I really needed to get out of the sun. So now I want to show you Promenade Shopping Center. So here it is, and it looks like quite a normal shopping center from the outside, but I have to say, I'm not a big fan of shopping centers, but this is one of the best shopping centers I've ever been to. It's really, really nice design inside. I'm not going to show you inside because they got quite loud music in there and I have to edit it out of my video for monetization purposes. But yeah, there we go. Very nice. And inside, lots of good shops. There's a food court. 
is a gym so you can come straight out of the gym and into some nice restaurants and looks like they've had some basketball games going on somewhere around here so yeah if you come to Novosad and uh, you need to do some shopping then this is a place to come to and if you want to move to Novosad then around here is where, uh, one of the most desirable areas of Novosad because in terms of conveniences it's perfect okay guys so I'm gonna knock it on the head for today for this video so I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me in this video and uh, I hope uh, you like the look of this city and uh, stay tuned for the next video I think it's gonna be in Serbia but after Serbia I'm gonna be going somewhere even hotter okay so stay tuned bye bye